I just seen some monster fish rise up here. So we're gonna get in here, see if we can hook into one of those bad boys. Got him. Got another one, guys. That's a big one. That's a big one. There's a solid little North Fork Lane River cutthroat. Hey guys, Steve here with Northwest Outdoor Adventures and welcome to another video. In this video, once again, we're gonna be fishing the North Fork of the Coeur d'Alene River. We've had some serious rainfall in the last couple days, so the water conditions are not the best. The river was dropping pretty good and I was excited to get up here. However, the last few days it's been just pouring rain, but that's not gonna stop us today. I can't say it's a beautiful day. It's definitely overcast, but it's not raining, so I'm thankful for that. Um, my buddy Adam's gonna meet up with me once again. He's gonna get up here later today in the evening when he gets off work, but I just got up here and I'm gonna go ahead and set up camp. It's about noon and hopefully I might even get some fishing in before he gets here. decided to go ahead and wait her up and do some fly fishing. I wasn't gone at first, I was just gonna make myself some lunch and just kind of relax by the fire and wait for Adam, but it's still only one o'clock and he still probably won't be here till about six, so I'm already kind of bored sitting around, so I decided to go ahead and wait her up and go ahead and hit the river, see if I can catch some fish. On, guys fish on here we go palm here so I'm not quite sure how to land them now I'm gonna try and come down here and try not to fall in this water it's actually really deep here he's putting up a bit of a fight pretty good fish I think I can't quite tell yet because of the current here but I think he's a nice one I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the drag because I'm afraid he'll get off on this current if I don't here we go oh he got off fish on Got another one guys, we lost that first one, just hooked up again, hopefully we can land this one, definitely a lot smaller I can tell already, but that's alright, I'm just excited to catch a fish. I'm going to try and get down here to the rocks again and see if we can land them, the fish is trying to go on the rocks too. Let's see if I can get closer, I don't want to pick him out of the water, I don't want to harm him. I'm gonna try and walk over here and hopefully it doesn't get off. And if he does, oh well. Self-release, right? As you guys can see, beautiful little fish. I'm excited. Let's see if we can get another one. There he goes. Fish on guys. Got another one. That's a good fish. That's a good one.
check him out guys beautiful little cutthroat just the colors in these fish are amazing beautiful fish well let's go ahead and put him back in so we can catch more go on little buddy there he goes it's another fish here we go it's a pretty good sized cutthroat maybe not it's kind of hard to tell in this current as you guys can see, another beautiful cutthroat. Let's go ahead and put him back. I'm gonna try and get one more, then I gotta head back and meet up with Adam. Back to camp. having an amazing day here in the river as you guys can see trout were biting all I can ask for it's a beautiful day it's kind of overcast still but it's warm and I'm just enjoying myself as you guys saw we have a real good purple haze hatch going on the fish are just eating those guys up which has been great I lost I hooked a really nice fish and I lost them as you guys saw in video but I still landed a couple of great cutthroats so I'm happy with that however I am gonna head back to town head back to town I'm gonna head back to camp because my buddy Adam's gonna be here within less than an hour so I just kind of want to go make a fire and go ahead and wait for him there because that's where I told him I'd be waiting for him so we might come back out and hit it a little more tonight we might not we'll see we might just cook dinner and relax by the fire before I go I did want to mention this product to you guys it's made by Loon Outdoors and I'm loving it I'm using it out here in all this fast water and it's really easy to use so basically all you do if you guys can see my fly there is you open it up and I have it on my chesty here and then you drop your wet fly in there then you close the lid and you shake it and this is it you blow off the basically the leftovers and it's great your fly is dry and it's gonna float again it's really kind of a lifesaver out here for me today with all the fast water every five six casts my fly will actually end up sinking and then I have to do that but then it keeps it right afloat also great right after you catch a fish pretty much every one of these cut through I landed I had to do that afterwards also use this gel they make, this actually a scientific angler gel. As you guys can see here, it's fly floating. So I use them in combination. I put this on before I start fishing, then every time I catch a fish, I shake it in here and it just seems to be working great for me. Full disclosure, I'm not by any means sponsored with these guys. I bought this product at our fly shop. It's just something that's working out real great for me, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my gear here for now and just go ahead out of camp for a little bit and I might see you guys in the river. Maybe we'll just cook some dinner, relax by the fire. Either ways, I'll keep you guys posted. Well, you guys, to kind of recap, it's already seven o'clock. My buddy Adam's not seem to be showing up tonight. I'm honestly not sure what happened to him. Maybe he couldn't get out of town or something. Me and him have done things like this for many, many years together, and it's unlikely for him to not to show up like this for an event like this, especially if it involves fishing. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm about 50 miles or at least an hour's drive away from the closest town where I would have any cell phone service. So unfortunately, I can't even call him to see what's going on. So. It's kind of getting dark, it's already seven o'clock. He was supposed to be here at five, so that was two hours ago. I just kind of been sitting by the fire, relaxing, read my book for a little bit. Just kind of went, go ahead and went for a good one hour walk by the river. It is gonna get dark here pretty soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner and getting ready for bed. And if he shows up, cool, if not, 
We're just gonna make some dinner, relax by the fire for a little bit, and then go ahead and hit the sack and see if I can get in some more fish tomorrow. Another thing that's kind of worth noting is it is a lot colder than I expected. It's about 45 degrees right now, according to my truck anyways. And it's not surprising, I can still see some snow up top the mountains, but it's a lot colder than I thought. I thought it'd be about 60s, 70s, and I was wrong, so I'm glad I brought this some extra clothes, but I got a good sleeping bag and I'll just keep this fire going for now and we'll stay warm. For those of you wondering, buck knives have been my go-to for many, many years now. I swear by these knives. They work great. As a matter of fact, I live about 30 minutes from the factory, so it's kind of local as well, so it just makes it that much more special. I'm always trying to cut in surfaces that are made for cutting, and it's not comfortable. Well, you guys, hey, look who decided to show up. I knew the food would bring him. I'm glad you came out. Yeah. Oh, you digging. What's that? You're just gonna eat out of the pan? Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> not a bad idea. I forgot plates. I got good jerky. Hmm. This will fill me up, I don't know about you. I was gonna grab plates and then I know I spaced it. Usually I do this for myself, so I don't care about plates. Right. Hey guys, it's the following day. It's a beautiful morning. We got up, had some breakfast. We got our fishing poles all rigged up. We decided to just go ahead and hit the road early and see if we can get in some more fish today. We're actually gonna take a back way back home. We left camp and we're actually gonna drop over a pass on the back side of from where I came in from. And there's some little creeks there and stuff we'd like to try and fish that we never really fished before. And just trying some new waters. There's no guarantees. I have no idea what's out there really, but I figured it'd be fun. There's smaller creeks. I'm not sure if the fish is moving up the, in there yet this early in the year, but there's a chance and I just think it'll be a good adventure. So enjoy. Got him. Got him. Got another one, guys. Fish on. It's a good one. He's a good fish. Got another one, guys. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, lost him. There's a solid little North Fork Carolina River cutthroat. It's worth the drive. Beautiful. You get to let him go. Look at this, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and put him back in. See if we can catch yourself another one. Look at the colors on him. This fish, there he goes. Awesome. We need to go. Oh, 
Well guys, unfortunately, adventure has to come to an end as usual. Overall, it was a great time. Fish was caught, fun was had, and great memories were made. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time. And we're lost. We're not lost. I think 202 takes us right down to the freeway, but I don't want to go that way. But I have to. <laughs> it takes us right back to where the roadblock was.